Hi, I'm Jackie Partridge Art. Today I'll be showing you how to do an abstract acrylic pumpkin painting. You can check out the description below for another pumpkin painting tutorial that's perfect for kids. Uh, this one is a nice beginner abstract painting. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe below. Today we will be using primary yellow paint, cobalt blue, titanium white, Mars black, cadmium red, and any orange paint that you might have. I'll be using different brushes, a round brush size 6 as well as a small detail brush, a flat 2 inch brush, a flat 1 inch brush, and a palette knife. I'm using an 8 by 10 inch canvas as well as a piece of chalk. I have my cloth rag and a container of water. All right, let's get started. All right, so to start our abstract pumpkin painting, I'm going to start by mixing some gray in the background. So you can start just by pulling some of your white and adding a little bit of black to it. You're just going to cover the whole canvas as well as uh, the edges as well. Since it's abstract, you don't need to worry about it being perfect. You can have some areas where you're just applying white paint onto parts of the canvas that you've already painted. You don't need to worry about blending it in smoothly. And that's just going to help create a nice textured look. Painting in the same direction. Then you can start to paint the edges as well. And you can also paint in other directions too, just to kind of give it some more texture. Since I'm doing a fall painting and my pumpkin's going to have some orange in it, you can add some other warmer colors. So I'm adding some yellow and mixing that in with my gray, just to bring some more warmth into the background. And I'm just kind of applying it randomly in sections. And then if a color is too bright, I can always add some more white over top. And I'm just kind of painting sort of in a cross hatch where I'm painting vertically as well as horizontally. You can bring some of that yellow on the edges as well. 
And you could do this the same thing with blue or red if you wanted your background to have a different color in it, that's fine too. Okay. So then with my palette knife, I can even apply some paint on it so it's a little bit thick in some areas and just has a different texture to it. If you don't want to use a palette knife and you just want to use a paintbrush, that's fine too. It's kind of nice to have different textures in a more abstract painting. You can add some palette knife texture on the sides as well. You don't need to add too much in the middle because that's where our pumpkin is going to go. And then you can just let it dry for about 15 or 20 minutes. It might need to dry a bit longer if your paint is a little bit thicker with your palette knife. And then we will come back when it's dry. So now that our painting is nice and dry, I'm just gonna use a piece of chalk. So this is just a regular piece of colored chalk just to kind of sketch out the shape of my pumpkin. And if you're not good at drawing, don't worry too much about it. Pumpkins can be kind of lumpy and have little bumps on them. So you don't need to worry too much about the shape of your pumpkin. You can look at pictures of a pumpkin to help you draw it, or you can kind of just draw it freehand like I'm doing if you have another if you have a little pumpkin or gourd at home, you can set it on the table to draw it. And once you've done that, we're just going to paint our pumpkin in a nice base coat of orange. If you don't have your own orange, you can just mix some of your yellow and red together. I'm using a filbert brush and I'm just dipping it in water so that the bristles are nice and smooth. And don't worry too much about your chalk because you can always rub it off afterwards if you're not covering it all. And I'm just painting in sort of the direction of the pumpkin. So a pumpkin has lots of curves to it. So I'm just kind of following that pattern with my brush. And if you want more help with that, you can check out my lemon video, which I've linked below in the description. So once you've kind of painted the edges, then you can kind of paint the inside. So you can go in the opposite direction, just kind of curving to make the ridges of your pumpkin look like they're sticking out and have some dimension to them. Okay, 
so now that our base coat is done, we can go in and add some extra colors to it just to kind of bring out our pumpkin. So you can add some yellow in different areas. And since it's abstract, you don't need to worry about it looking perfect or looking super realistic. You're just kind of bringing out the different textures and different colors of the pumpkin. So you can add a bit of red as well. And I'm just adding some little kind of small chunks of color. You can let some of the gray from the background show through. Mix some orange and white together. So I'm gonna add some more to it, but I'm just gonna let it dry for a bit so that I can kind of build up my layers a bit more. So with your small detail brush, you can mix some green for the little curl on the pumpkin. And you can add a bit of water so your brush is nice and smooth. You could add a leaf to your pumpkin. I'm not going to though. For the stem, I'm adding some of the same green. You can also mix a little bit of black in as well. Just to kind of add a shadow. And then I can add a little bit more yellow to my green. It's always good to add some variety just to make your painting look a little bit more interesting. And again, I'm kind of following the direction of the stem. I think I'm going to add some different green leaves, maybe some like berries and flowers along the bottom. I'm not going to worry about adding like a table or something. I'm just going to kind of keep this abstract looking. mix some black and yellow together to make a nice dark green. You can overlap your uh, overlap the lines on your pumpkin if you want to.
And even though we don't have like a table or a surface painted where it kind of looks like the pumpkin's resting, these leaves or vines kind of make our pumpkin look a little bit more grounded and less like it's just kind of floating on thin air. You can play around with your vines as well. Again, you can add different greens by mixing some different blues and yellows together. And I'll link my video on mis mixing greens in the description as well. And again, if you're struggling to get a nice fine point at the end of your brush, you can just kind of dip it in water and roll it so that it comes to a nice small point. If you decide that you don't like something, you can always mix a little bit of gray and just paint it over. Which is really nice just to kind of, if you make a mistake, you can always just fix it and paint over it. I think I have a bit of orange on my brush, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of the orange from the pumpkin in the background, and that will just kind of make the painting look a little bit more unified as well. It'll kind of warm it up a bit too. Just adding some white in some areas just to lighten the background up now that I've painted my pumpkin and decided how light my pumpkin's gonna be. Now that we've kind of added a base coat on our pumpkin, um, you can do the same kind of thing that you did with the background and use a palette knife just to create a little bit more texture. So you can use some of your orange and mix it with some of the white. I'm really using like the tip of my palette knife just to have a bit more control. This is just going to help it look a little bit more abstract and it's going to be nice to kind of add the same texture that's in the background as well. So I'm still kind of following the same direction that I had before. And you don't need to do too much. You can kind of add a little bit more white near the top, kind of where the highlight would be. And you can mix in a little bit more orange or some red in some areas. Okay. 
And if you make a mistake, you can always paint over it. It's not a big deal. Then I might add a little bit more yellow as well, just to add some variety. Kind of blend it in. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect because it's abstract. So I think I like it. Looks pretty cool. So you can always just stop. If you want, you can go back in with a brush, but I kind of like the texture that I've added on mine. I, I, I do think I'm gonna go over the little vines at the bottom. Now that they've dried a little bit, I'm gonna make some of them darker by adding some black to my green that I made. And again, you can just kind of wet your brush slightly and drag it along the side of your cup or the tablecloth that you're working on just so that you get a nice fine point. It's good for some of your leaves not to just be one shade of green, but you can add other tones in as well. That's kind of what I'm doing. A bit of yellow. I'm just going to kind of clean up some of my edges a bit. Awesome, so there we have it, our abstract pumpkin painting. Again, you can use a palette knife or a brush or a combo of both like I've used. If you've liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see new videos that come out every other week. And be sure to share this video with your friends on social media. If you complete the painting, I'd love to see it. You can use the hashtag Jackie Partridge Art Classes and I'll be sure to give it a like. Thanks for watching. Happy painting.